why should a young man or woman listening to us today say chemistry is an exciting field what is what in your mind really sets chemistry apart chemistry is the subject of transformation subject of transformation transformation matter matter it can be organic inorganic what have you biology whatever you transform that with molecular understanding and that is chemistry hmm. you make or break bonds that's chemistry so i would say transformation is chemistry transformation well will happen under rules hmm. you understand those rules how transformation occur you evaluate that how can you enhance that how can you decrease or reduce that decelerate it how can you make transformations to achieve what you want for example a functional material or a drug or pharmaceutical or a polymer what what have you so this is chemistry so if you look at it from this perspective you have a uh, many many problems of our planet which cannot be addressed without chemistry how do you address co2 problem how do you convert co2 to methanol or to hydrocarbons how do you run a well a hydrogen economy how do you take out this co2 from the atmosphere today and then and reduce this global warming how can you provide clean water to people how can you have better medicines how can you have better pesticides how can you have better agriculture so if you keep asking these questions from a very broad perspective how do i change the world this changing the world you can do it in many ways but without materials you cannot change it at all mm -hmm. it's great to have machines for i but how did the machines fly it's great to provide people with uh, clothing how do you have 7 billion people wear clothing how do how do they eat without ammonia where is this world so if you start thinking about it from a broader perspective how do i change the world i would change the world molecularly and that would be kept very nice and why do you say india is a good place today to choose a life in chemistry career in chemistry it just as um, any in any other area india is a, a pot of boiling problems uh, as we just mentioned about all of those issues about water climate etc all of these i'm just coming from a village where um, it's an agricultural village uh, but one out of every four homes there is a cancer patient how did this happen indiscriminate use of pesticides how did this happen how did that kind of chemicals get into our our soil or water how did it affect our uh, health so it's a time bomb ticking you need to find something new at the same time have productivity right agricultural productivity we can't afford it to be lower but we need greater environmental protection so like this hundreds of issues are there today if you wish to address or make india the bharat that we are talking about the atmanirbhar bharat are you looking at it from a larger perspective how would india be a developed nation and this is impossible without chemistry mm. so that has many facets to it you may address it from the point of view of let us say yamuna clean yamuna uh, you maybe you may address it from the point of view of uh, 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 of clean delhi you may address this from the point of view of providing water you may address it by providing better clothing uh, now look at uh, the microplastics pollution look at the fibers all of these in india the impact of this is going to be tremendous 
because the population density is such. So all these plastics that in America or in the Western world may not have greater impact, but the impact is going to be here. So to me, India is the right place to address these challenges.